The Australian Infrastructure Financing Facility for the Pacific, the AIFFP, supports quality infrastructure in Pacific Island countries and Timor-Leste. The AIFFP is partnering with the Government of Solomon Islands and the Solomon Islands Electricity Authority to help deliver the Tina River Hydropower Project. This project is the Solomon Islands' first large-scale renewable energy project. It will make electricity more affordable and reliable to households and businesses and help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Australia has had a close and warm relationship with the Solomon Islands over many decades. Our proximity and shared values means our prosperity, security and stability are intertwined. Australia is proud to partner with the Solomon Islands to deliver its priorities. Critical infrastructure such as the Tina River Project has the ability to create jobs, encourage the private sector and to be a vehicle for economic stimulus. Ni baraga rem interest to mas nalo electric to him kang lo house blo ni. Presti mi dream lo house time electric kang. Ani store mi oga ta things blo ni po mi use po mi market. Ni gen mi garim income lo house blo ni. Presti lo light blo mi ni tibim once a power hem kaming lo house. We like to buy an electric swing machine for me. For me, swing or the calico uniform or something for me to sell to school. For me, buy an a different for me to store an ice ball for me. Then, now something more for the beginning for me for charging a. I can a lot of them easier for laptop, locata, computer or something. Only 16% of Solomon Islanders are connected to the power grid, making it one of the world's least connected countries. The Tina River Hydropower Project will help to reduce reliance on diesel generation, which is expected to provide cost reduction and system reliability benefits to the electricity users of Honiara. The Tina River Hydro Project is a bold, life-changing project made possible by the vision of Solomon Islands and supported by a range of partners, including Australia. The project is expected to generate between 70 and 80 gigawatt hours annually, more than 70% of Oniara's annual demand. All right, King George is a very big school. We have around 900 students. So we use electricity for almost uh, the daily life of the students. So in the classroom, we use it for projectors. We use photocopy, printing, lighting, fan, air conditioning. Students also use it for their laptops in the dining hall and for charging their phones. So we have a lot of uses for electricity. Currently, we want to put street lights you know, for footpaths from the dormitories to the classrooms, especially after classes. Students have to go back to the dorms, but we need street lights, but we can't afford to pay the bills. You know? So if the bills are much cheaper, it will be really good for the students in the night, as well as for the staff. We have the staff right at the back of the school campus, up the hills, so they have to walk after the duties you know, in the night. They have to walk back home, but if they have a good power supply and it's cheap and reliable, then we could have street lights back to the houses in the night. We're looking forward to that. Good one. <laughs> If electric can come, electric city can come to place. Buy a water, warm money, no place. Buy a water for movement, this one, a water community, work out a lot of work. Every time time need me only for me, I would have to run go down to town no more every time. Pay low, jungle and all places low town. So if electric can come, we have important to me. Buy me a lot of work and more things. Buy no material, come, then also in the level here. Then sell it and go down to place. Then I'm circulating that law, the community, the village. Our electricity to date is one of the highest in the region. The access to electricity is also very low. And for Tina Hydro to come in, uh, it will enable uh, residential and also uh, commercial customers to be able to pay cheaper power and uh, increase their production. Australia continues to work hand in hand with our Pacific partners to identify projects that support quality infrastructure and long-term economic recovery and growth. To find out more, 
visit aiffp.gov.au. Who let him on? Who let him on?